Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. It appears that the cause of death for those decedents are all sharp force injuries. There are disturbing new details tonight in the shocking murders of a Buffalo Grove family. A husband and wife among the five people dead embroiled in court battles. Casey Cronus is live tonight with what we know. Casey. Corey and Don, the youngest victims, were four and six year old girls. And while we are getting a better idea of who was killed, there are still so many questions tonight about what happened inside the family's home. Today is a very sad day for our community as we continue to process this unthinkable event. On a quiet suburban block sits a sprawling home. Outside, a playset, security cameras, and expensive cars. But inside, a horrific crime. It's something that nobody should ever see, but nothing really prepares you for that. It was a horrific sight. Just after 11 a.m. yesterday, police were called to the Kislyak residence. One of the women's co-workers requested a well-being check when they couldn't get a hold of her. No one answered the door, so officers forced their way inside to find five people and the family pet dead. There were no survivors, and uh, we were not made up anywhere of information that uh, indicated otherwise. The Lake County coroner identified them as 67-year-old Lilia, 39-year-old Andre, 36-year-old Vera, 6-year-old Vivian, and 4-year-old Amelia Kislyak. All five died of sharp force injuries. Court records indicate Andre, pictured in this mugshot from a previous arrest, and Vera were in the midst of a divorce. In September, records show that Andre violated an order of protection. Meanwhile, a memorial has begun to form outside, neighbors stopping to mourn. It shouldn't happen. Like, it shouldn't have been no one in this world, but I try to explain to you why we're here, but I'm just showing him there is a beautiful angels. Vivian, who was a young student at Ivy Hall Elementary School, was described by administrators as happy and cheerful. They say she loved unicorns and dancing. And neighbors tell us police had been called to this home several times in the past, but they weren't aware of all that was going on behind closed doors. Live in Buffalo Grove, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.